high. Right. Yeah, um, apparently even the gods don't like us doing Crash 4 because my internet just died. Condolences. Ah, best, best room team. Oh my goodness, I've, <laughs> I've been recording six and a half minutes of crap. Oh, At least we kept that part where you were talking about your, talking about, <laughs> about your internet going out. Uh, well, I don't think it's good. It, it, it's only going to pick up my side, so it's not going to hear anything you said. Um. Anyway, uh, say something. Coming from One Piece has a very interesting design after time skip. <laughs> oh man. Uh, I'll turn myself down a little bit. Um, that should be fine enough. Yeah, that should be all right. Ah. Uh. <laughs> okay. Very right, good. I have to cut out like seven minutes of nothing. Okay, uh. Welcome back to Wrath of Cortex, everyone. Last time we went through walkthrough, walkthroughs 1 and 2, and now we're going to go through the third one and any more if we have time. <laughs> I realize my brethren have had some trouble with you, my little orange friend, but I'm not quite sure why. Huh. Is it getting hot in here? Is it safe to be wearing that fur? It looks flammable! It sound like Tom Kenny. Hmm. Never really made that distinction. I do like that they uh, got uh, Tom Kenny back for Reignited Trilogy, though. You know, they went out of the you know Vicarious Visions went out of their way to mostly. Bring back the most recent voice actors for all the Crash characters. Yeah. Voice for Bob Opt to just uh, actually go back to like the turn of the millennium to get Spyro's actor. Yeah. It's interesting. I mean, like, uh, the Crash, the actors for Insane Trilogy at least voiced the characters at one, like, voiced a character in the series at one point or another. For Dino Dial. Hmm. Uh, but, um, yeah, I, w whenever I hear, like, the uh, modern version of Aku Aku, I, I, ju I can't hear anything besides, um, Grim from Billy and Mandy. He just has that voice. Are you okay with that? Huh? That? Uh, I think you... I, I, I will, I'm a little bit, torn. I'm not, I'm fine with it, but, uh, overall, but... I think the um, original voice did have more of a fatherly kind of tone, like children, you must be careful, and all that. I don't know. I like it's still kind of there with a the new voice, but not as much. Really tell him, I think Greg Eagle sounds just a bit more. A bit more what now? Mel Winkler sounded had a more fun tone, but I think uh, was like, I think Greg Hills just did the acting better. Yeah, I, I'd agree with that. Like the, I like there's more, I guess versi oh jeez versatility with the new voice, and um, it's more entertaining to listen to, um, especially in the um, like the Titans games. Yeah, where the like that those games are more story driven and more and because of that there's a lot more cutscenes to go off of. Um So yeah. I completely forgot that you have the the double jump now. <laughs> I kinda forgot as well. I, I kinda just 
I just started double jumping at the start just to make just a test. I will say, like, uh, this is no two or three. Um, I think my favorite overall controls for Crash will probably be um, Insane Trilogy. Um, but that, all things considered, I, I don't think these controls badly. Like, um, like it's still it's still smooth. Okay. Oh, that's just that ain't right. That that there should not be a gap between the uh, end platform. The, Rock beat. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This this game doesn't oh, really badly. The one yeah, you have to wait for the one per fruit to go as well. That's just that's just rubbing salt in the wound. I uh, I don't know. Uh, how does it work in two and three again? Do, I I believe it. Um, you see all the Wampa Fruit go, go, um, away, but it loads, it loads the, uh, level, um, while fi the Wampa Fruit are still going, like, going away. Is that correct? I can't remember, or... actually. Yeah, it's been a while. Yeah, what do you think about how this, the, like, the general movement? I uh, haven't played this game in, goodness gracious, like, 15 years, but... Just controls like specifically crash being too bad like yeah like just crash specifically yeah they tend to move heavier more heavily and slowly in this game they did in like warped but hmm I, I can imagine that's screwing with people's muscle memory yeah it's yes yeah, it's, it's definitely not the same kind of uh, movement like you can't you can't do the same kind of tricks like the slide spin trick you can do for Get, uh, keeping your speed, um, that's gone. You can't do the trick where you do a glitch super jump, where you like do a crouch jump and spin at the same time. That's gone, and you can't like do that to get an, a body slam to get extra height. Yeah, but um, for what it's worth, I do think the game controls fine enough on its own merits. Uh, the, oh, this level's the, gonna be a pain in the ass to go through on a time trial. I just can, I can just feel it. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, let's just go away. Yeah, I I haven't I don't have that much experience with the. How did that hit me? What death route? I didn't even know this level had one. I was mm, yeah I was. I was just, uh, <coughs> it's like, I remember another one of these levels having them, but I wasn't sure if it was this one or not. What I appreciate about this game is that, unlike Warp, Crash 2 and 3, they repeat level motifs, but they actually try and come up with new themes for each level. Yeah, I don't think there's, um, they ever repeat the same mu music track. Um, th like this, Wizards and Lizards had something completely, completely unique to this. Which I, I, I kind of like that, because uh, the first, Wizards and Lizards had the dragon chase, which suited, which suited for like the, the music suited for that kind of setup, whereas this is, um, just a regular medieval level, so it doesn't really need that. Oh crap, I lost it. Okay. Hey, how'd you lose it? You went on it already. I thought it was safe when you actually went on death route once. Yeah, okay, so that there, there's a weird thing about the death routes in this game. Um if you if you go on a death route and you die in the death route, it doesn't cancel the death route out. But if you Okay, so if you die in the death route and then die again before reaching it again, the death route's gonna disappear, which is really annoying. That's... that's not, no. No. Yeah, I don't know why they did that. Like, as far as I'm concerned, if you reach it, you should be able to just have it. It's, le it's like... It's like, pardon the... Maybe perhaps pardon the hyperbole, but it's like... This is Game wants to be a parody of the worst aspects of Crash Bandicoot. Yeah, because like uh, I, 
Oh crap. What the? I Jeez, didn't, I didn't mean to fall off there. Oh, no, that's fine, that's fine. But like... Yeah, I, I hear that um, apparently like Crash 3 PAL version had, had an issue where it's like, if you... If you died in the death route, it would cancel it out. But I've never had that. And I own a physical copy of the PAL version. But I've never tested the same thing it does in this game where like you die Like you die in a death rat and then you die outside it, it disappears. I've never tested that So maybe that's what people are talking about But either way, it's annoying to deal with in this game um, Unless we have something interesting to talk about, we'll just cut to the death route Okay <laughs> We just edit in a scene of like one of those orbs from Portal 2 just yelling out space. Oh, that'll be good. This. <laughs> space. I got double accuracy, so let's go. Yeah, I can be reckless. Oh, not too reckless. Oh, we have invincibility. Let's go. Oh, since we're, like, since we have invincibility, um, what do you think about the new jingle? Because, uh, I'm kind of, I'm, mm. Didn't even, I didn't even remember this game having a new jingle. It's really generic sounding. It, it's a, um, I don't mind them doing something new with it, but my problem with it is that it's, it doesn't really give you a good indication of when it's going to stop, because a lot of the time, I end up just losing a random mask because I wasn't aware it was, it was ending. So, that's a thing. Oh, jeez! Dang it. Okay, so um, I'm, I'm just going to edit that out, but yeah, we're back in the death route. <laughs> Hopefully I don't die this time. Yeah. You know, it might be... It might be better if you come back when you have the bazooka and you can just kind of go through all the nitro crates with it. Uh, maybe. Well, the thing is, like with this one, uh, you, they aren't really on the main path, so I can just ignore them for the most part. And the fact that they're off the main path is kind of what I'm saying. Like, you can just blow them up and then... Uh, haven't... Fast. I haven't done this this kind of platforming in a long time. <laughs> there we go. That's fine. We there we it. go. Purple gem. <clears throat> Huzzah. I don't I honestly don't remember what levels uh what the where the color gems where the color gems go for like secret level paths, so I just save it for end game because I just don't have that stuff memorized. Right, tsunami. This is a cocoa level. Okay, this is the this is like the level I think of the most when I think like muted colors because they this place is like stupidly dark, and you'll see why I mean. Oh man, it is. It's not the worst thing ever, but like the um, the dark color palette here makes it very easy to miss boxes. I find. I usually end up missing something here, so hopefully that doesn't happen. And this is a more open level than usual. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. So, um, are these robot fish or just? I think they're just regular fish. Oh, just so I can uh, show this off. I'm pressing X twice, you can't double jump. Uh, it's really weird how uh, Coco only- I think Coco only gets the um, running shoes. Um, and... Actually, no. She already seems to have like some kind of super belly flop, so I don't even think she gets that. That is a thing you get in this game, but it's not from a regular boss. Yeah, the speed shoots. 
just... I mean, the sneak shoes replaced <clears throat> the super belly flop as the first power-up gained. Yeah. Uh, so they had to... Uh, uh, the, uh, that the super belly flop is still in the game, but they... Um, they um, moved its placement to a random s secondary area, uh, which is really funny. It, it's, from what I remember, it's actually, you actually find it through um, a co in a Coco level, and uh, it, it's hilarious because you don't actually get to use it for Coco, so it's kind of an odd choice. Then again, uh, you never really need the Super Belly Flop in this game. We well, never really needed it in warp either. Warped either. Oops, mistimed. Uh, you you could have broken that with just the. Uh, it's gonna break with the nitro switch anyways. Yeah. Probably color palette this game has. Hmm. Oops. Ah. Okay, uh... Okay, one thing that's kind of weird and annoying is that every vehicle has basically its own control scheme. Um, so, like... I'm trying to remember what button is to accelerate, but apparently X is jump. I think it's circle. Yeah, circle. Alright. Yeah, I don't know why they didn't just make all the the acceleration for all these kinds of vehicles just universally the same because it will make things much more e a lot easier to swallow there's no reason to change stuff like that ah i got some weird spiral vibes from this music yeah a little bit how much of this part of the game have you seen like have you gone through the third walkthrough at all? Me personally, no. I watched a friend get through the third warp room, but I don't recall this level. I guess they skipped over it. Ah, okay. Yeah. Oops. That's not good. Why is that fish just flopping on top of a boat? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think my pizza's here. I'll be right back. Oh, okay. Yay! Yeah, at least uh, you get a bunch of lives quickly in this game. The case in uh, basically all the crash games, so uh, you know. And we shot the, su the spe pesky tsunami out with ra with just a wooden door, because that makes sense. Okay, this is the this is like the most ridiculous platforming ever. Like, <laughs> I think I'm gonna actually have to kill myself to kill myself here because um, I need wooden boxes to do some platforming and the nitro destru destruction switch will destroy those because they're like right above nitro boxes so yeah yeah this is actually well this, this part ain't too bad but it's this stuff up here well, that was just a bad jump. Yeah, this... I, I hate this iron box platforming, like this just doesn't feel right. Ooh. 
Well, at least let me do the stuff of crash, so I actually have a double jump at least, but no. Oh, come on. Okay, that's not even the worst of, worst of it. Like... Like, what kind of platforming is this? Dang it. Ugh. Trust me, guys, like, I- there are things I like about this game, and I do like how it plays on a fundamental level. Like, I really want to like this game, and in a lot of ways I do, but <laughs> it throws in a lot of cheap bullcrap like this all the time that makes it hard to justify. There we go. Alright, where's level 14? Making a bad Oh, oh, dang it. <laughs> oh. Hmm. I have a taste for some deep fried bandicoot. <sighs> One thing I will say about the secret area is that at least um, it isn't this level. Oh, man. I uh, the the this car thing controls like absolute crap. It's like truck, I guess. Like, oh my goodness, already messed up. Like, okay, you no, know, screw it, screw it. Let's let's just get, try and get fast. But like. Man, there's no music here, which I fit. I don't know why there is no music here. I guess they just didn't have time to make another song. Or, like, I, I don't know. It just feels incomplete. But it's, it's fine enough. Oh, hi. You're back. So, you got your pizza and all that? Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, I was just saying how um, this um, this level feels a bit incomplete because there's no music here, and like I, I don't even I don't think it's a glitch because this happens without fail every time. Very odd. But um, yeah, you missed a really bullcrap uh, <laughs> secret area in the Coco stage. Wait, yeah, dang it, no, no. There we go. Uh, where you had to do like really precise platforming on like single iron boxes. <laughs> it's an it's stupid. <laughs> yeah, that level's not so bad when you're trying to just get first, but when you're trying to get boxes, it it makes the motorcycle from Crash Free look look like a godsend because it's just really annoying to be precise with this thing.
think that the car being bigger would I mean that would be easier to get hit boxes. Yeah. It's it's bec it's mainly because of how uh how fast it moves and um it's super sensitive. Like uh, the motorcycle takes a bit to uh, go places, whereas oh dang it, already messed up. Like, I'm gonna have to kill myself. Um, whereas this one, like it turns so fast, so like trying to hit tiny boxes is just a pain in the neck. I mean, you can, like, do this, but it's, like, also incredibly boring. <laughs> it's one of those things in the game where it's, if you just play it normally, it ain't that bad, but as soon as you enter 100% mode, it just, it's, it's just, no. <laughs> it's stuff like that, what the hell? At least you can die. Oh, <sighs> we might hit B here for a bit, so um, I don't know what's anything interesting go on with you lately. Um, it's been relatively quiet. Mm. Looks like trash. Well, this level? <laughs> Our controls, I mean. Oh, uh, yeah, they are pretty bad. It was like, when you, when you, when you made me rather play the motorcycle levels, you've done something wrong. <laughs> Cause this is not designed well at all. Why are they both putting an, a bounce box here? There's no reason for that. I was about to ask that too. <laughs> is this like a? Did, did they just turn this into a racing stage at the last second? <laughs> do stuff like that. And keep in mind we have to do this a third time for the relic, so we Oh, come on. Are you serious? Well, You have to do the whole thing again. <laughs> I'm going to get more pizza. <laughs> what the hell? Um... Yeah, you guys heard that right. It just started playing off of, like, the warp room theme. For like two seconds. That was weird. How's the weather where you live? The weather, um, it's been a little bit chilly, but uh, not anything too crazy. How about you? Old. Yeah, yeah. It's been getting what? I want to die. 
It's been getting warmer lately, though. <laughs> they, didn't play, they didn't have any music in the stage because they knew that you'd be here endlessly. <laughs> It'd be like, oh, we, hey, we don't have a, a theme playing for this level. And then they're just like, oh, what level is it? Oh, uh, that crappy level with the with the uh, truck thing. Nah, screw it. I'll just leave it. It's not worth it. Ugh. Again, I don't mind... I don't mind having, like, vehicle levels and stuff, but... I draw the line when it's not fun to play or well-designed. And that goes... That's basically just this. This stupid thing. And again, I... I really want to like this game, but it constantly shoves stuff like this in my face. Where it just makes it hard to... It, it makes it hard, hard to accept sometimes, I don't know. Like... It feels like it's constantly at odds with itself, if that makes sense. Universal would probably said no to this idea, but Traveler's Tales maybe should have tried and pushed for having less levels than warped. <laughs> yeah. Like, if they... If they had to make it in under a year or so, they they probably should have just... They, I, I think it would have been fine if they just cut the 6th warp room and just made it 5. Because, uh... I don't know, I think the game feels like just or when you're just going for the crystals, it feels longer than in 2 and 3, or the... There we go, okay, we got that one. It, it feels longer than the uh, trilogy. Um, like... I think it, I think the levels in general are just generally longer, um, so that might have most of, most of what to do with it. But I don't know if they low times make everything longer too. That's true. Like if they didn't have time to make like thirty levels, then they should have just probably just cut the sixth one, cut the relics, um, and just I don't know. was it? I mean, just polish up the 25 levels you already have. And cut this stupid level out, because we don't need it. Honestly, you could honestly replace it, because there's a uh, dark level in the secret warp room, that you, where you, and you could just remove this and like place that level somewhere instead, in the main five uh, warp rooms. Or something like that, because... Yeah. Screw this thing. <sighs> but I I'll say this much, like... Uh, in um, besides, like... Uh, I guess some general glitches sometimes, and some audio bugs that I come across occasionally. Uh, this game doesn't feel... It, it doesn't feel as unfinished as like Twin Sanity does, where you can just feel that there's missing content. Like, this game at least feels complete, if that makes any sense. Like, it feels meaty enough to be a full game what costs though. Yeah, that's true. Alright, now let's just rush. Rush through. At least now we can just not care. <laughs> I'll be amazed if we get a platinum. Oh gosh, everything's going all over the place. <laughs> yeah, the level looks quite a bit different when you actually just speed and throw it. Mm. 
man. Man, it's, cr it's, it's kind of crazy, like, the actual race itself is stupidly easy, because we just... Oh, jeez. Because, like, we just started the race and immediately got first. Like, even on the first motorcycle level, we had to at least try a little bit. Jeez Louise. <laughs> it's fine. We good. A platinum? I maybe. No, your answer is no. <laughs> I'm not doing that level again. <laughs> <laughs> that would be nice if we got a platinum. Uh, I was not expecting what room three to be the end of me. I always for I always forget this level exists. Oh, it was a platinum, nice. Uh, this level's okay. Now, this level, I think I remember. 